What's up, Legacy Builders? I'm Rob. I'm Rishon. And, and this, this is Learn, Learn Hustle, Hustle Grow. Grow. Learn Hustle Grow is about creating a legacy. We're here sharing our passions for money, marriage, and travel with other legacy builders like you. you. What do we do exactly? Are we retired? When Rob and I joined our lives and our finances 10 years ago, we had no plans to leave our corporate jobs in our 40s. We knew that we wanted to provide our kids with better opportunities than what we had. Having grown up in single parent households, we believed that the foundation of that change would be a strong family unit. Our marriage would be the catalyst needed to change our family tree. We would create a legacy that would benefit our children and their children. After getting married, our first win was finding the total money makeover. We were excited to find Dave Ramsey and shared his message with anyone who would listen. While we believe in the message of living debt free, we modified the baby steps to reflect our specific circumstances and goals. Check out our video, How We Revised the Seven Baby Steps. On our path to building wealth, we consumed blogs, audiobooks, and podcasts about money and investing. In 2017, we began reading about people who had left the corporate world in their 30s. We were shocked. What? You no longer have to go into an office? You don't work for anyone. You are covering your living expenses without a W-2 job. The answer was a resounding yes. Want to hear more? Go ahead and hit that like, subscribe, and notification bell. Let us know you're watching and enjoying the content. We were amazed. There were people so focused on mastering their finances, they were no longer dependent upon a job. We had found our tribe. Who were these people and how could we be down? Some of these blogs had went back as far as 2008. While debt and improving your credit score were addressed, the primary focus was on intense saving and investing. Frugality was a frequently used word. These individuals made a conscious decision to give up many of the daily trappings of life to reclaim their time. We were absolutely fascinated. We asked ourselves, what choices had they made? What could we implement? Initially, it appeared that the community lacked diversity. What they had in common was that many were high wage earners. We were not discouraged. Now 20 years into our careers, we were earning a good living. We did not start our careers as high wage earners. We worked our way up. Can you pursue early retirement if you are not a high wage earner? You most certainly can. Keep watching. So we kept digging. Why? For the same reason that we choose to share our story. Because representation matters. Before long, we saw that there were people of color sharing a message on building wealth. Shout out to Paula Pant at Afford Anything, Jamila Souffrant at Journey to Launch, and Julian and Kirsten at Rich and Regular. Julian. Remember, success is for everyone. Don't believe the narrative that you need to be anything other than who you are to build wealth in America. Is it harder for some? Most certainly. That's true about life in general. Life is not fair. As long as we are going to keep living, we may as well maximize the experience. Mindset plays a big part in our ability to achieve any goal. Everything begins with a thought. When we believe something is impossible, we create mental roadblocks. When we focus on the possibilities, we start looking for ways to make things happen. So, what's the name of the strange tribe? Financial Independence Retire Early, also known as the FIRE Movement. This is a personal journey and everyone moves at their own pace. Are we part of the movement? Yes. Are we retired? No. We have reduced our expenses so that we require a lot less money to live. Our choices enable us to leave our jobs and pursue entrepreneurship. While we work for ourselves, we are still working. I am a travel agent. Rob is a licensed Texas realtor. In January of 2020, he will return to active status helping buyers, sellers, and investors to achieve their real estate goals. Although this channel produces no income at the time of this recording, it is work. 
This is work we enjoy doing and feel passionate about. Sharing what we've learned is part of how we give back. So, what are the tenets of FIRE? How can you retire early? Number one, lower your housing costs. Housing is generally the largest expense in most households. Reducing your housing costs significantly impacts your ability to pay off debt, save, and invest. What could you do if you were able to live rent free? Check out our video on house hacking. Number two, drive used cars. Studies have shown that most cars lose value the moment you drive them off the lot. We opt for cars two to three years old. This allows us to get more features for our money. We have not had a car note in nine years. We have a step-by-step -step video on how to buy a car if you're interested. Number three, cut the cable cord. We've seen monthly cable bills for $200 or more. We got rid of cable a couple of years ago. We now use the Amazon Fire Stick and streaming services. This is not sponsored, by the way. <laughs> Number four, tax advantaged accounts. Uncle Sam has given us a tremendous opportunity to reduce our tax liabilities. Most of us will never experience the benefits of an employer-funded pension. We are on our own when it comes to retirement. Max out your 401k, IRA, and HSA accounts. Number five, college hacking. Teaching your children how to go through the process of saving and planning for the expense of college. For example, scholarships, community college, or dual enrollment. Number six, use credit card rewards. We use credit cards to take advantage of incentives like travel rewards. This is called travel hacking. In order to participate in travel hacking, you must be able to pay your monthly balance in full. If you are not there yet, you will end up paying interest that makes the rewards absolutely worthless. Number seven, reduce your grocery bill. There was a time when we would have never considered buying generics. Growing up without money, there was a stigma associated with the white packaging and large black print. Times have changed. Generics are now the store brands. While the packaging is different, the contents are often the same as the name brands. Some are serious couponers. While we use store apps to take advantage of online savings, we have not taken the time to clip newspaper coupons. We are just not that hardcore. Number eight, increase your income. You don't have to be a high wage earner to take action on any of the seven principles mentioned. The principles are all about being intentional with your money. If you are not a high wage earner, you can increase your income via side hustles or career hacking. Yes, we have a video on the topic of career hacking. Number nine, invest in low cost index funds. Remember, your money has to work for you. That can only happen if you invest. Sounds scary? Investing in index funds makes it easier. Mutual funds and ETFs makes it more cost effective. Yep, you guessed it. We have a video titled Investing 101. We are not financial advisors. We are regular people just like you sharing our experience with personal finances. Number 10. Savings rate and the 4% rule. So how do you know when you have enough to retire? Save 50% of your income until you have enough to cover 25 times your living expenses. The goal is to live simply. If your plan is to retire, you will likely need $1 million or more in assets. If your investments are in the stock market, apply the 4% rule. If you can cover your expenses, by withdrawing 4% from your nest egg annually and still have enough money for the future, you have achieved financial independence. Some individuals have chosen to live outside of the U.S. to keep their cost of living as low as possible. With the exception of the 4% rule, we were following the tenets of the FIRE movement without knowing there was a movement. Have we reached financial independence? Here's where we stand. We have no consumer debt, we used a 529 to save for our kids' college. The oldest has graduated college with no student loans. We spent most of 2019 traveling the world. We have not withdrawn from our retirement funds at all. We own rental properties that pay for themselves. We have a fund that covers expenses and repairs. We don't need as much as we used to. 
we can now live on approximately $36,000 a year. So, can you retire early? You tell us. Do you have the discipline to be more intentional about how you spend your money? Do you have the mindset to look beyond life's obstacles to achieve your goals? We highly recommend the book, Think and Grow Rich by Napoleon Hill. Are you a legacy builder? Comment below. See, See you in the, the next, next video. video.